Great Britain takes over the Tour de France. Bradley Wiggins wins today's time trial and his teammate and compatriot Christopher Froome is second. Wiggins is now clear of Kettle Evans by almost two minutes at the general standings. A race against the clock is the definition of the individual time trial program today for stage 9. The course is 41.5 km long, going from Arquesonon to Besançon. It's a little hilly, but no real difficulty. The first reference time was set up early in the afternoon by the time trial world champion Tony Martin of Germany. The former best young rider is still bothered by a broken wrist. Yet he maintains his rank and covers the distance in 53 minutes 40 seconds. Great day then for the Omega former quickstep rider whose wheel punctured in the first kilometers today, like during the prologue in the roads of Liège. This time holds for almost three hours until Spartacus gets in the battle. The Olympic champion of the specialty Fabian Cancellara takes off like a rocket and reaches the first plate almost 40 seconds faster than Martin. The Swiss rider even passes Boki Molema of the Netherlands, who had started three minutes ahead, halfway to the arrival. In the end, Cancellara completed the course in 52 minutes 21 seconds. That's 1 minute 19 faster than Tony Martin. The best local of the day is Sylvain Chavanel, time trial champion of France, who finishes only 27 seconds after Cancellara. The time set by the Swiss seemed unbeatable, yet a first warning signal comes from BMC TJ Van Garderen, Cat 11's teammate. The American is faster at both checks, but he loses some time in the end of the course and has to settle for a provisional second place nine seconds behind Cancellara. It only seemed unbeatable because after this first code red alert, the two GC leaders take the road. Wiggins and his teammate Froome make an amazing performance as the duo clinches the first two seats of the podium. Cancellara is pushed back to the third position of the day by the Sky Procycling Britons. With a final time of 51 minutes and 24 seconds, 35 seconds faster than Froome and almost one minute faster than Cancellara, Wiggins is therefore still in yellow at the top of the general classification. He increases his lead over Cat Evans by 1 minute 53 seconds and Froome climbs on the third step of the GC instead of Vincenzo Di Bali.